Hello and welcome to lesson three. This lesson uh, three is very, very exciting because it tells you that problems bring advancement to our world. The problems that we have had as human beings, you know, have brought a lot of advancement, you know, to our world. If you look back to like 300 or 400 years ago, there were no motor cars, there were no computers. In fact, when Jesus, our Lord, you know, was walking the streets of Jerusalem, he was walking on foot. The best transport, you know, transportation means at that time was to use animals like donkeys and uh, horses and um, in maybe chariots. Those were the things that they were using in the days of our Lord Jesus Christ. But because of transportation problem, we have developed our world and we have created certain transportation means like ship and canoes you know you know submarines we have created airplane you know in aviation industry our aviation industry has become so big and so rich you know and um, we have developed different means of transportation because we were just out to solve our problem and so that we can also help the coming generation and we have done so well you know by transforming these problems into solution, it has generated employment to a number of people around the world. Can you imagine, you see, the, 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 the billions of dollars that aviation workers are receiving? Do you want to talk of those who are involved in the manufacturing of aircraft or those who are working, you see, as crew members in, in every flight? Do you want to imagine the number of flights that, you know, that takes place every day in our world? Do you want to imagine the millions of people who are in the air every single day, you see, in our world? You know, one day I was on the air, in the airport. I was just trying to count the number of airplanes that were touching down. I found out that there are more than 70 airplanes that touched down. That's one in a single day in the Muritala International Airport in Nigeria. You see, problems in our world have brought solutions like cars, airplanes, computers, electricity, you see, telephones, which uh, industries, different kinds of industries are made today to solve different kinds of people. And these are providing employment. Agro-allied industries came up to solve problems. You see, all the problems, all the products, the medical products, that are being made are made to solve problems. Do you have a problem? I'm glad to tell you that most of the problems that we may have today has already got solution. All, you, all we need to do is to reach out for the solution to any problem that we have. But there are some other problems that are evolving and other people are evolving with technology that solves the problem. So right now, you have to position yourself and that is why you are you you know as you are in this course to learn how to position yourself to be a solution provider to our world. In this world, there are two groups of people: those people who are creating problems and the other people who are solving problems. You must be in this other class of people that are positioning themselves to be problem solvers. You see, every millionaire, every rich man or a woman are people who reach out to solve problems of mankind. You see, when Steve Jobs started with the idea of having Macintosh computers, he dropped out of school. And because he was ready to, he was willing to give, you see, solution to our, communi our communication, you know, problem, he was able to develop, you know, Macintosh computers, which is called Apple computers, and it brought a lot of light to our world. You see, position yourself to be a pro pro solution provider and you are going to be a success. And not only that, you are going to help millions and millions of people around the world. Look at the millions of people that, you know, Steve Jobs has helped. Look at the millions of people that Bill Gates has helped through Microsoft. And you too can provide a solution. You see, even churches are created to solve problems. All the churches in our world are preaching peace, preaching Jesus Christ. And most of these churches are preaching divine healing. 
bringing healing to the soul and body of human beings and you know making people's problems to dissolve in the name of our lord jesus christ there is solution to that problem that you are facing i will tell you in the next section this is the end of section one in section two i'm going to go deeper into this thank you for listening see you in section two